Hello there. Welcome to update 11.4. Gosh, exciting times. Another update. Ooh, let's have a look at the informationals. Of course, it would be nice if there was an update and not like endless screens full of stuff that I don't want. But why, why is this information screen still so not very thought through? Okay, so breaking news, there is no update. Thanks for watching. We gotta keep a lookout for the cat fruit storage and talent storage menu. Clear limits for certain gauntlet stages have been added. Is that making it better or worse? I guess I'll have to find that out. New true forms, well, as you'd expect. New uncanny legends, as you'd expect. And new user rank rewards. Okay, so let's look first at these gauntlet changes. Here we go, clear up to three times. So I think that this has been improved. I noticed using the, the new difficulty rating system thing, this isn't gonna be the easiest. So we're gonna go into it with a little bit of precaution and some, some powerful unitage. We're gonna go with Jizo. We're gonna go with meat shields. We are gonna go with Jizo again. We're gonna go with more meat shields. We're gonna go with more meat shields. We're gonna go with Jizo. And you probably get the pattern. We're gonna continue on like this for a little bit. Oh! He's big, he's bad, and he might be about to get a little bit more sensible gameplay-wise. Here you are, Mr. Baron. Let's get uh, Peach Devils. Anything for zombies? We do have that. We have an Avro one. Fantastic. We have Breaker Blast, which isn't insanely relevant. All right, Big Mouth. Uh, he, oh, he, he loves he loves it. He's he's gurning at this point. <laughs> How long are you gonna stay like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was quite entertaining. Right, okay. Let's keep up the meat shielding. Don't get distracted too much. We need to defeat this Baron seal so we can confirm to the audience if things have changed for the better. I sincerely hope they have, because if they have, Baron stages might be about to be on their way out of the doldrums, which would be fantastic. Ooh, oh, oh, still being knocked back. Thing is, I've got no idea how many knockbacks this fellow has, so I, I could be getting really excited at each knockback and it could be like 10% of his health. I mean, I know that he's a chonky boy, so I, I guess I should be ready for that and ready to wait a little bit to defeat him. But I've got a whole lot of power raining down on him, and this is the first stage. Come on, my son, be reasonable. I've got lots of power and metal and there we go, fantastic, he's gone. There we go, we win. <laughs> a victory, red alert one, done. Three Catamine A's, how thrilling. But this might be more thrilling. Red alert two can be started immediately. Oh, I mean, it's still not as good as like a normal stage, but at least it's reversing the gameplay mechanic that was really quite terrible before. Thank you, Ponos, for sourcing this out. This now is like relatively appealing of a stage and it's reflected in the other gauntlets as well. So you can see April gauntlet there, clear up to three times. Fantastic. Right now, this should be an exciting moment. Storage. Let's have a look in the cat fruit storage. Oh, look at that. It's it's kind of less thrilling than before. And I, I still think that, you know, the old format with like a bar at the top telling you what you have, like with materials in the Atoto base, would just have been the best and easiest way to sort this out. But this is so much better, in my view. I, I can sort of imagine in the back of my head, like some annoyed people that they can't swell their cat fruit anymore. I'd, I'd be intrigued to know what you think about that. But it's so nice to be able to know at a glance what I have more of cat fruit wise. So to stop my storage spilling over, I can now sell one of my yellow cat fruit and I can sell two, I reckon, of my epic cat fruit. Marvellous. Fantastic. And where did they come from? I haven't been on Growing Strange since like 2019. Oh, this is nice. Like the orbs are nicely designed to a point where it's just really rather lovely to see these circles of their little innards of different colour. They, they do remind me, even though they're 2D, and I think this is what is so impressive about them, of those sort of random balls that you buy and, you know, you think back now, why on earth did I buy them? 
of of just like balls of like suspended color in the middle of them that you just bounced around well i guess those are the days before technology and they look lovely they they look like they need to be bounced and that's just such a nice way of laying it out feels a little bit disconcerting that i can't move them around especially as we got like bubbles moving in the background it's like there should be movement but there isn't but this is just such a much cleaner and nicer way of laying them out thank you very much ponos much love no way no way no way i've just played myself here because i i didn't expect that this could possibly be true i i was willing to pay money for this there's no storage limit there is no storage limit oh my god this is the single best update ever <laughs> yes oh no more that stupid stupid message every time i try and climb the tower oh this is euphoria this is oh fantastic and as for the true forms well this is a pretty exciting update gold cat now that's an intriguing one has a true form which is lovely i never thought that these units would get true forms but i always really wanted them to so here you are one gold cat fruit which oh my god still looks so dirty and three illuminati cat fruit get you glittering macho cat the true form evolution gains increased defense plus immunity to wave attacks Oh, that's an interesting meat shield there. I'd be intrigued to know how much that costs as a unit. That sounds pretty good. I'm not going to be getting that anytime soon. You know, the cost is, is duly expensive, but flipping out that, that's exciting. Now, there are some Easter units, amongst other things, that are getting true forms. And as Easter units are getting <clears throat> true forms, there is rather something that I would like to bring to your attention springtime kenshin the best unit in the entire game and i mean that seriously has a true form and sod it it needs a gold cat fruit seed and that flipping blue cat fruit no i want it though don't do that to me spring breeze kenshin oh now with pink hair gains colossus slayer so can can do extra damage to the big boys and immunity to weaken attacks. Oh, I don't really care about those abilities. That's fine. But just to know that it has that true form, even though I won't be getting it anytime soon, is heartwarming. Spring time Kenshin, ladies and gentlemen. Getting the love it deserves. Talents, I hear you question. Well, I have an answer. Where is he? Where's he gone? I'm trying to be all mysterious here and I can't flip and find the thing. Hayabusa has talents. Can target Aku? It's going to be interesting. Could possibly be useful, actually. Shield piercing, which goes along with the Aku. Resist curse could be useful in my anti uncanny legends questing without, you know, those, those true forms of the special legends. Defense buff and attack buff. I, I started saying that with more surprise than I needed to. <clears throat> Defense buff and attack buff. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious me. What's this? No new uncanny legends? Just as I've completed a subchapter, there's no new uncanny legends. <sighs> and that seems to basically be version 11.4. Quite small, but does two very valuable things. Makes the storage sensible. And unlimited. Oh my god, it's unlimited. Yes! So, so I guess two and a half things. And the other thing being Springtime Kenshin getting a true form. All that needs to be done now to move forward with these useful menu changes is to, to make that horrid, horrid announcement menu actually work properly. Make it work like your other menus in the game, which are smooth and nice and well integrated. Like this! I mean, you can make this, but not an announcement menu that, that actually works. Please, get on it. Okay, I'm done. Tune in next time for another update where I might have gone, you know, completely mad by then. So I guess stick around to find out. ta -ra.